What's up guys, this is Magnum Computer Help here with Objective-C Tutorials, Lesson 4, More Operators. Now what all will we be learning in this lesson? Well, we'll be learning about increment and deincrement operators, comma operator, cast operator, and size of operator. Now to start off, we have increment and deincrement operators. Now they look like a plus plus or minus minus before or after a variable. Now they increase or decrease the value stored in the variable by one. And the different possibilities there are a plus plus, plus plus a, a minus minus, and minus minus a. Now when plus plus or minus minus is after the variable is increased, the variable is increased or decreased after the expression is evaluated. Now when the plus plus or minus minus is before the variable, it is increased or decreased before the expression is evaluated. Now I know this is kind of hard to grasp just in text, so we'll be going right into Xcode and I'll be showing you exactly what this means. Okay, now go ahead and open up a new Xcode file like I showed you in Lesson 2 or just open up the one that we've been working with through the past few lessons and delete everything and then clear int a and then set its value to 2. Now we're going to do set up some ns logs. In this first one we're going to do a plus plus oops, equals and then percent i then we're going to do a plus ugh, can't type today plus plus and then we're going to do ns log a now equals and then we're gonna set a back to 2 and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna declare another one but this time instead of uh, doing the plus plus before we're gonna or be, instead of doing it afterwards we're gonna do it before yeah, rotation, comma, plus plus. Oh, I cannot type today. <laughs> NS log A now equals percent I A. Okay, now we're going to set in A back to 2 again. And we're going to do NS log. And now we're going to try out A minus minus equals percent i a minus minus uh, minus minus ns log a now equals variables a we're going to do a equals 2 and remember because we're changing the value of a every time that's why I keep on declaring um, the int a minus minus a and then the last line of code here a or yeah a now equals percent i close off the quotes comma a okay now you can save it and build and run now everything should oh oh that's the problem here is a very important bug thing that I messed up on okay as you can see right here I redeclared every variable. You don't need to redeclare the variable. You just have to reset the variable because A is already declared up there at the top. So all you have to do is just A equals 2. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, now A plus plus. Let me look at it alongside the code here. As you can see, A plus plus 
equals 2 and a is 2 so it doesn't like I said when it's afterwards it doesn't actually assign that um, extra 1 to the value until after it's already done that initial equation so there below it's 3 then this one is plus plus a so when it's before it assigns the 1 and then evaluates whatever equation then of course it's 3 there and then a minus minus because it's afterwards it just initialize it does the equation that initial equation is 2 and then afterwards it subtracts the 1 but when it's before it subtracts that 1 before it does anything else and then of course afterwards it's still that 1 so that's how the um, de-increment and increment operators work so let's go back to Xcode and learn about some more operators okay the next operator is the comma operator now the comma operator allows you to use two or more expressions where only one is expected it evaluates the first operand usually the first one is always an expression because it then discards the results then it evaluates the second operand in that expression and returns the value so as you can see down below we have variable a and we make it um, we set b equals 3 comma b plus 2 in the value of a so b equals 3 is the first part so we're actually declaring a variable in this in a and then we add b plus 2 so a equals 5 because we set b to 3 and then we added 2 to b so we're going to go into Xcode and just write a few lines of code just to get a good grasp of this okay back in Xcode you can just delete all that we previously typed and then declare int a and then int b now set a equal to b equals 3 comma then b plus 2 just like what you saw in the PowerPoint and then ns log a equals b equals 3 comma b uh, plus 2 equals percent I A then semicolon NS log you know, at uh, quotations B equals percent I quotation comma B close it off with semicolon and that's all we gotta do save it and build and run now as you can see a equals b equals 3 comma b plus 2 equals 5 because you declare b inside variable a just like I said before and then you add 2 to 3 that equals 5 of course and b still equals 3 so that's really it for the comment operator